Exalt his name together. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Mm. I'm Bishop Alfred L. Troy Sr. And I'm Dr. Cheryl Troy. And we welcome you and we thank you for joining in us today for this time of worship and going into the Word of God. Dr. Troy, would you lead us in prayer, please? Amen. Sure. Let us pray. Father God, I just thank you and I give you praise for this day. I thank you that this is the day that you have made and we're rejoicing and we're glad in it. Father, I just come to you today just thanking you for how you kept us during this past week, yes, to bringing us down to another Sunday morning yes, to Jesus. praise and worship you. Father, I just thank you and I praise you for all things. And right now, I just lift all these situations in the world yes, up unto Father, yes, you, Jesus. Father God, because you're the only one that can do the anything about it, Father mm. God. I thank you, Lord, that your word says that if your people who mm -hmm. are called by your name yes. would humble themselves and pray, mm. seek your face yes. and turn from their wicked ways, my, my. then will we hear from heaven. Yes. You will forgive their sin and heal our land. Yes, Father Jesus. God, our land needs to be healed. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord, I just thank you, though, that we are fearfully and marvelously made. Yes, I thank you that we are the head and not the tail. Mm. We are above and not beneath. Yes, Father, Jesus. I lift our every listener up unto you today. And yes, I ask Jesus. you to meet every need that they have. Father God, I lift the sick and shut in up unto you today. And yes. I ask you to restore health to them, Father God. Oh, yes, we Jesus. know that you're a healer. And yes. we know that you can do just that. Father, I thank you for all things. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Bless his name. Well, please allow the uh, worship ministry to bless us in song at this time. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. Get up and worship with us this morning. And worship with us if you love God more than anything. total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I you more than anything. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than Lord, I love you. 
blessing us with that wonderful song. Amen. I tell you what, they really know how to lift us up before the Lord and bless us in a great mighty way. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for that. Amen. Amen. Well, today we're going into the Word of God found in 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the 13th verse. That's 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the 13th verse. Would you read that for me, please? Man. No temptation Mm -hmm. has overtaken you except such as is common to man. Yes. But God is faithful faithful. who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Also with the temptation, he will make the way of escape. So you will be able to bear it. Bless the Lord. Amen. I'd like to use for a thought today. This simple phrase, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. Amen. God will yes, make a way will. Yes, he where will. there seems to be no way. Amen. You know, being a Christian and having Jesus in our heart doesn't mean we no longer have problems. Amen. I can remember as a teenager hearing uh, the people say often when someone was uh, in trouble and having a hard time or not living right, they would say, all they need is Jesus. Well, <laughs> you know, after I became a grown person and I finally gave my life to the Lord and I now have Jesus, I found out that I still have problems <laughs> even though I have Jesus. So it's more That's to true. it than this. You, you just need Jesus. You need Jesus and you need to understand what the Word of God says about how we deal with some situations that we have to, we are dealing with. <laughs> Amen. 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 If we don't understand that, we miss the whole point of our salvation. Amen. Amen. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, he is. And all, all, all have to come to him. Amen. 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 To get to the Father. Bless the Lord. Amen. The, the Lord plainly said, you know, I when I first got saved, I hadn't quite heard enough of the word. Yeah, enough of the word. But the Lord says plainly, in John 16 and 33, he says this, in this world, you will have trouble. Mm, now, man. he said, in this Ooh, world, you will yes, have Lord. trouble. And I believe in my heart that the Lord knew what he was talking about. What about you? Amen. Yes, in did. this world, you will have trouble. Mm. Amen. The word of God also says in Matthew 5 and 45, uh, that the father in heaven makes the sun shine on the evil Mm. and the good Mm. and cause it to rain on the just and the unjust alike. Amen. So then, Christians and non-Christians will both endure and encounter problems and trouble in our life. Amen. You know, your problem today might be because of finances. You know, you're facing an eviction or you're facing a situation where you're on the verge of foreclosure of your house or your home. Amen. You might have a problem um, about your job. You know, you are unemployed, laid off because of the situation that's going on around us. And uh, you have not yet seen your unemployment check. You know, yeah, that that's a problem. That's a problem. Amen. Your family situation might be your problem. You know, you stuck at home, you and your spouse, and y'all looking at each other funny. <laughs> want somebody to go somewhere. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, that's a problem. Uh, your problem might be you're, you're at home and you, your children are at home because they're having to learn virtually. Oh, my, my, my. Jesus. And you are having to do some of the virtual teaching. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, man. That's a problem. In <laughs> fact, now that you realize that uh, uh, when you give do some of the virtual teaching, you realize that teachers are uh, overworked and underpaid. Amen. And they need Amen. a raise. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. You found out how difficult teaching really is. <laughs> Amen. And when you look around in your household at everybody, you realize that somebody need a break up in here. Someone <laughs> needs need a break. But... Glory to God, you got Jesus, and 
Jesus can bring, bring peace in any situation. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. In fact, in your problem, it's really allowing you to know that that problem is a potential temptation that uh, you are dealing with. And it's you're dealing with it to try to cause you to miss out on God. Mm. To cause you to uh, lose your moral compass on some things. Glory to God. Amen. The Bible tells us in Mark 14 and 38, this special thing to our hearts. What does the word say in Mark 14, 38? Watch and pray, uh -huh. lest you enter into temptation. Yes. The spirit indeed is willing, mm -hmm. but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing to do right, but old flesh will get in trouble, get in the way every time, and try to cause you to go away other than the way you need to go. In our text today, the Apostle Paul tells us and warns us uh, how believers should act in times of temptation because Paul understood that temptation is a part of life. Amen. In fact, Paul said that temptations are certainly going to come in our life. Our text does not say that if temptation, temptations come in your life, but the text says when. So it's not a matter of if you are tempted in life, tempted in life the matter is when and how you handle yes. that temptation. Amen. 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 What are you going to do? Glory to God. When you are tempted. Uh-huh. What are you going to do? How, how are you going to carry yourself? Glory to God. Well, Amen. people say when you're tempted that you're still saved and filled with the Holy Ghost and living for Jesus. Or they would shake their head, or would they shake their heads at you and say, mm, mm, mm. I knew it. I knew they wouldn't say. Uh huh. Yeah. How how are you going to respond to temptation and problems in your life is very important because the Word of God teaches us how we should respond to temptation. In fact, the Word says temptations are placed in the life of believers by the devil. Amen. And they're placed. So that you can, you will miss out on what God has for you. You will begin to question God and you will eventually fall flat on your face because you have been misled by the wrong voice. Amen. Amen. His Amen. sheep know his voice and a stranger they will not follow. That's Amen. Right. But correct. the Bible lets us know, but God. But. Every now and then, you need to have understand, but God. But no God. matter what situation you're in, oh, but God. Man. No but matter how God. it looks, thank but you. God. But God has a way of taking that which the devil meant for evil yes, and turning will. it around yes. for your good. Yes, he will. I say God has a way mm. of taking that which the devil meant for evil and turning it around for your good. Yes, uh, You can just ask Joseph and his brothers. His Joseph brothers threw him in the pit trying to get rid of him. Mm. But God saw him in the pit, amen, and elevated him to the pa palace and then had his brothers come and bow down to ah. him. God has a way yes, of turning does. that which the devil meant for evil around yes. Yes, for your good. Amen. amen. Amen, amen. Let's look at uh, some things in the word of God, praise God, and some advice that Paul gave to believers in times of temptation, mm -hmm. when you are facing temptation in your life. Um, the first thing Paul said concerning temptation is he wanted believers to understand that temptation is coming to man. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, it is. It's nothing new. It's coming to man. You might say, you don't understand what's happening to me, but Bishop, you just don't understand. Mm -hmm. Nobody else has it as bad as I have it, Bishop. Oh, things just going haywire in my life, Bishop. Well, you're wrong because the Word of God lets us know that everybody experienced temptations yes, in do. their life Amen. at some time. That's right. It's, it's, it's wrong to think that you're the only one with problems. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes. And your problems are no more important than the other person's problem is to them. Amen. Amen. How are they supposed to act? a certain kind of way concerning your problem when they're going through problems themselves. Amen. Yeah, Everybody right. experienced temptation. 
The Bible tells us and lets us know even the Lord Jesus had to deal with temptation. Read sure. for me Luke 4 and 2. Luke 4 and 2. Read that for me, please. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, mm -hmm. and in those days he did eat nothing. Mm -hmm. And when they were ended, he afterwards hungered. Now, that Jesus was. The Bible lets us know now, a lot of times we, we take this passage of scripture out of uh, Matthew, Matthew 4 and 4, and we don't quite get it sometime out of Luke 4. Mm. But in Matthew, the word says that he fasted 40 days. Amen. He fasted 40 days. And we, we know he fasted 40 days. But when we look here in Luke, the Bible says that he being 40 days tempted of the devil. Now, mm. wait a minute. It says Jesus was tempted for 40 days. All those days that we see he was fasting, he was mm. also being tempted of the devil. Yeah. And a lot of people today, can't we can't stand being tempted one day or two days. We, we don't want to go through that. But the Bible says here that being fasted or being tempted 40 days of the devil. Amen. Jesus had to face temptation. We had to face temptation. The beauty mm -hmm. of Jesus facing temptation, the Bible let us know that Jesus, he conquered it. He overcame it. Read for me, please, Hebrew uh, 4 and 15, please. For we do not have a high priest yes. who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, uh -huh. but was in all points tempted as we are, uh -huh. yet without sin. In all points tempted as we are. Amen. He went through temptations as well. But the word says he was without sin. Glory to God. He was tempted, but he didn't sin. He didn't allow his temptation That's to true. lead him into sin. Glory be to God. Uh, secondly, Paul wants us to know that God will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. Mm. Amen. God will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. God knows your strength and he knows what you can bear. Amen. The thing is, God knows more about you than you know about yourself. And there are a lot of times when we don't think we can go any further. We can't mm. take it any longer. Yes. It, you know, but God knows you can. God knows you better than you know yourself. <laughs> and he will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. Amen. Your threshold of endurance is far greater than you think, meaning you can bear more than you think you can bear. There were times mm. in my life when I, I didn't think I could bear any more. Don't, don't put one more straw <laughs> on my back. <laughs> I'm going to break. But mm. glory to God, I found that the Lord, he upheld me during those times, praise Thank God. You, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And not only did he upheld me, he, he, he helped me so close to him, praise God, and allowed me to be able to make it through whatever I was de dealing with because God knew exactly what I had to deal with and he knew I could bear it. Bless the mm. Lord. Amen. Mm. Just like he know you can bear it. The word of God tells us in Ephesians uh, 6 and 10, he says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord yes. and in the power of his might. Find my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power. Whose might he's talking about there? His might. His might. His might. His might. Not his your might, but his might. His be might. strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. His might. The word also says there in Ephesians 6 and 13, it says this. When you have done all you know how to do, <laughs> stand. When you have done all you know how to do. Now, understand this. Get get hold of it. Grab this with all you can. It doesn't say when you have done all you know how to do, that's the time to quit. Because a lot of people want to quit. But God says when you have done all you know how to do, it's not the time to quit. It's the time to stand. It's the time to take a stand. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. How many of you standing today? How many are standing on the word of God? How many of you are standing on the promises of God? Amen. Standing. It's not the time to quit. Amen. Mm. Because things are tough around you. Yeah, it's not the on. time to quit, to quit because things are rough around you. It's not the time to quit because you don't know what's going on and what's going to happen next. It's time to 
trust in the Lord with all your heart Amen. and lean not to your own understanding. Read for me, please, 1 Corinthians uh, 3 and 2. I fed you with milk and not with solid food, for until now you were not able to receive it, and even now you're still not able. Paul says here that he fed the people, the church of Corinth, when he preached to them, when he taught them, he said he fed them with milk. Amen. You know, too many people want baby food. It's time for the church to get off that baby food. Amen. <laughs> and grow up. Amen. And start being able to, to eat the solid food of the word of God. Read from me Hebrews uh, 5 and 13. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. For everyone that's on the milk, amen, that's still relying on the milk is unskilled in the word of God. Because when you're skilled in the word of God, the Bible says, and the word encourages our heart, it says that we're ready. We're ready. We can handle the strong meat of the word of God. Amen. Yeah. We can handle the word that says, stand when you've done all you know how to do and not give up. Glory be to God. Amen. You know, it amazes me sometimes how uh, people in the world get an idea that God would allow you to have problems that are bigger than you are able to handle. That's mm -hmm. not what the word of God says at all. It doesn't say that. Amen. God is not going to put you in a situation to face something that you are unable to face that you're unable to deal with. The problem is you're able to deal with it, but you don't want to deal with it <laughs> a lot of times. That's the problem. It's not yeah. the problem that you can, can't deal with it. The problem is that you don't want to deal with it. Or the problem is in your mind, you think you can't deal with it. Amen. Yeah. But glory to God, the word of God tells us to renew our mind. Amen. So that renewed mind know that they can deal with anything that comes their way in God because they have the Spirit of God dwelling in him. Bless the Lord, amen. oh my soul. Amen, Jesus. amen. You no, know, mature Christians understand when they have burdens that are overwhelming in their life. You know, mm -hmm. it just gets so heavy, it just gets so tough, it gets so rough. They realize that that's the time when they should Lift up their eyes into the hills from which comes yes. their help, knowing mm. that all of their help comes from the Lord. Mm. Mature saints of God, amen, You're, those that's growing in him spiritually, the mature saints understand in the word of God that uh, the time is, is now to make a move. Read for me, please, 1 Peter 5 and 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Amen. That mature saint realized that not only am I going to lift up my eyes into the hills from which cometh my help, all of my help come from the Lord, but they also realized that, look, I can cast all these cares on the Lord. Amen. In other words, get them off of him and place them on the Lord. And the, the beauty of that is God says in his word that we can cast our cares on him because he cares for us. Amen. Amen. That's why he wants us to do it. That's why he really commands us to cast it. When we can't handle it no longer, we can't deal with it no longer, he said, well, cast it on me. Mm. I'll carry it for you. Oh, glory oh, to God. Jesus. I'll ca just, 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 you just stand mm. and watch me go to work. Amen. And watch God do that, that miracle in your life. Amen. And watch God make a way where there seemed to be no way. Yes. Glory to God. Thirdly, God will provide you a way out of your situation. Now, God will provide you a way out of situation. Now, understand, I, when I say God will provide you, we're not speaking selfishly of you. But one thing I learned just, just flying from one place to another, when you're on the plane and the flight attendants are giving you instructions, there's a, a, a piece of instruction that they give us concerning the 
oxygen mask. But if the oxygen mask falls out because the plane is, is, is losing altitude or, or pressure, this is what they tell us on their, in their instructions. They say, when the mask falls out, put the mask on yourself before you try to help somebody else. Amen. That's now, true. saints of God, it's important <laughs> to understand that God will provide for you before you can help for somebody else. If you can't believe God for yourself, how are you going to believe God for somebody else? Mm, if you can't trust good. God for yourself, how are you going to mm. trust God for somebody else? You got that's to put the mask question. on you first before you can help anybody <laughs> around you. <laughs> Glory be to God in the yeah, highest. That's true. Do you really believe that, that God will do what he said he would do? Mm. Do you re really believe that God will... Keep his promise. Amen. The Bible says, for all the promises of God are yea, yay. and in him, amen. amen. That's right. Do you really believe that that what God says in the word is true concerning God? Read for me, please, Numbers 23 and 19. God is not a man that mm. he should lie, yes. nor a son of man that he should repent. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Has he said, and will he not do? Or has he spoken, and will he not make it good? Oh, glory to God. God said, if I said it, if uh, I promised it, it said, I'll make it good. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes, if it yes. didn't exist, I will cause it to exist. Hallelujah. I will make it exist. Yes. Witness. I will make it good, the word of God says. Yes, Amen. Lord. That allows me to know today, my brothers and sisters, that God will make a way. Mm where there seems to be no way. Hallelujah. How do I know that? Yes, because will. God will make it good if me. it don't seem mm. like it's going to work out. God will make it good. Hallelujah. God will uphold his promise because all the promises of God are yea and in, in him. Amen, 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 amen. Do you really believe that God is faithful? Yes, he is. Do you believe he is as faithful as the Bible say, says he is? Amen. Glory to God. Read for me, please. Deuteronomy 7 and 9. Deuteronomy 7 and 9. Because we, we need to understand with our hearts, <laughs> the word is true. Jesus says to us, praise God, that his word is spirit and life. His word is spirit and truth. Glory to God in the highest. Read for me, please. Therefore, know that the Lord your God, mm -hmm. he is God, yes. the faithful God, who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. Know that the Lord your God is a faithful God. Amen. Yes, he is. It's a faithful God. The Bible says also in 1 Corinthians 1 and 9 that God is faithful by whom you are called to the fellowship of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It lets us know in the word, time after time after time, God is faithful. And if you really think about it, God is faithful to us when we're not faithful to him. That's true. You know, <laughs> if someone wasn't faithful to us, we wouldn't fool with him no longer. <laughs> we wouldn't, we, 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 that, I've, I've had enough. I, yep. I'm not messing with them no more. Ooh. Don't come around my door. Don't 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 even don't even call me. <laughs> but God's not like that. God is faithful to us, even when we are unfaithful to Him. Amen. And He's faithful to us because Jesus has paid the price. Amen. Amen. Jesus died on the cross for all of us. Thank Glory you, to God. Thank you, and the price for God to be faithful to you has been paid. By the blood of Jesus. Amen. Mm. So, God is faithful to us. We ought to be faithful to him. Amen. Amen. Paul speaks of the faithfulness of God in the hour of temptations. But you don't really believe God will make a way out of no way? Well, my brothers and sisters, I'm here today to allow you to know God will do exactly that. God will make that way out of no way. God will move in your life yes. as we trust in him. Amen. Amen. The way out comes through faith in God. Amen. Through his overpowering, triumphant power.
power and his deliverance from our problems. Mm. That's the way out. Since this is true, God allows us to hold on and validate what he says through his word. Jesus says this so clearly in Hebrews 13 and 8. Read that for me, please. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same yesterday. Yesterday. The, the, the day that's gone by, gone Amen. already. Yesterday he was the same. And he's going to be the same today. Today. And he's going to be the same forever. Forever. So in my future, he's the same. Amen. Tomorrow, he's the same as he is today. Yep. Amen. And Jesus Christ, the yesterday. same yesterday, yesterday, today, and forever. Glory to God. Just ask the three Hebrew boys if God can make a way where there seemed to be no way. The Bible tells us how they were thrown into the fiery furnace hmm. and the furnace was turned up seven times hotter than Ooh. it normally was. But the word said when you go through the fire, hey. amen, you'll come out not smelling of smoke. Yes, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just ask them will God make a way where there seemed to be no way. You don't even have to take that word alone. Just ask Daniel when he was supposed to be a lion's dinner. They were planning on having Daniel for <laughs> yep. dinner that night. But glory to God, God moved in that situation, and God made a way Hallelujah. out of no way. Yes, Lord. Made a way where there seemed to be no way for Daniel. Just ask the woman who was bowled over for 18 years. Mm. Yes. Couldn't straighten herself up. Couldn't straighten herself out. But all of a sudden, Jesus came into her midst. Amen. She was in the presence of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And Jesus looked at the woman and told her, Woman, being a daughter of Abraham, oh. amen, because you are a daughter of Abraham, you got righteous connection. Straighten up, woman. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> and she straightened up right then, and she walked straight from then on. Glory amen. to God. Oh, Hallelujah. I believe there's some people out there today that need to just straighten up. Straighten up. Amen. That's the only thing wrong. They have them straighten up. Right, if they straighten no. up, <laughs> they'll be in a position where they realize that God will yes, make will. a way Hallelujah. where there seemed to be no way. Man. Just ask the centurion soldier mm. who came to Jesus concerning his servant. And Jesus healed him. Yes. Amen. Healed him. What? The, he understood that Jesus, all he had to do was speak a word. To his situation. Mm -hmm. Speak the word. Uh, speak a word into his situation. Now, right mm -hmm. now, that someone needs to understand that Jesus, the power of God, is speaking a word to you right now. Amen. Don't look at the man. Hallelujah. Pay attention to the word. Amen. God will make a way Hallelujah. where there Thank seems you, to be no way Thank in your you, life. Lord. Glory Hallelujah. to God in the highest. Uh, just ask the mother whose daughter was demon possessed. And she came to Jesus mm. when her daughter healed. And Jesus told her, say, well, you know, it's not meat to give the children bread to the dogs, you know, because healing is the children bread. And the woman understood exactly what he was saying. But she, 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 she said something to Jesus that was so remarkable, got mm. Jesus' attention. She said, Master, even the dogs eat the crumbs ah, that fall yeah. from the master's table. Mm. In other words, she said, Master, I don't need everything you got. I just need a little bit. <laughs> Holy glory to God. Amen. I don't need it all because I can get a crumb and make it. Because, see, whatever is in the cake, cake is in the is crumb. In the crumb. Amen. Oh. The same anointing that's in the cake is in the crumb. Amen. The same oh. power that's in the cake is in the crumb. She didn't need the whole cake. All she needed was a crumb. Glory crumb. to God. Just a crumb. Oh, and God has given you a crumb of the word right now. Hallelujah. You're getting what you need to get by. You're getting what you need to make it through. You're getting what you need to be encouraged. You're getting Amen. what you need to go on. You're getting Hallelujah. what you need right now to not give up. Hallelujah. Glory Thank to God. You, God man. will Thank make you, a man. way where there seemed to be no way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Think about a woman with the issue of blood. You know, hey, Jesus made a way where there seemed to be no way. She had spent all the money. Didn't have no money. No they money. have nowhere else to turn. No Amen. But to Jesus. 
And when she turned to Jesus, she said to herself, if I just touch it, ah, if I just, just, just get close enough in mm. his presence, hallelujah, yes. just to touch him, then I'll be made whole. Yes, Lord. You know what? God made a way Time. where there seemed to be yeah. no way for her. The Bible mm. lets us know so clearly that God is no respecter of person. Amen. He's no respecter of person. The Bible lets us know so clearly that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. God does not promise to shield you from temptation. God's promise is to see you through the temptation, see you through the troubles in your life. Glory to God in the highest. My brothers and sisters, I want you to know right now, hallelujah, as, as you grab a hold of the word of God and realize that God will make a way where there appeared to be no way through all the temptations that come yes, towards you or in your life, amen, you'll be able to do exactly what Paul said in his word when he said, I can do hallelujah. all things through Christ. All things. Who strengthens me. Amen. 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 Oh, my brothers and sisters. I'm so glad to be with you today. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to encourage you today. I'm so glad to that you are realizing and you are understanding that God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Yes, he will. Oh, all you have to do, trust him with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, amen. if you have not received Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life, now is the ideal time. Now is the time to put yourself in a position where you can say for yourself, My God will make a way where there seems to be no way. You can accept Jesus in your heart right now. Just repeat this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus come, into my heart, come into my heart. Be my Savior. Be my, savior. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. This, day, this day, I receive you. I receive you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. You just moved. You just were transformed from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God, dear son. You just transform into the kingdom of light. Amen. And I thank God for what he has done. Remember, hallelujah, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Don't give in and don't give up. Just hold on just a little while longer because everything's going to be all right. All right. Yes, Do we have any announcements? Amen. Bishop, I certainly enjoyed that word today. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I tell you, I'm a living witness of God making a way. Yeah. Of where there seems to be no way. Really? Amen. Tell me Amen. About it. Oh, no. It's just, just too many. We don't even have time. I got so many. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So many testimonies uh -huh. of how God has moved Amen. where there seems to be no way. Amen. All right now. Amen. And I love you, Lord, today. Amen. Thank you so much again for tuning in to our broadcast today. Pray that you were blessed by the word and pray that it would carry you through this next week. Amen. Amen. I want to remind you to join us for prayer on Wednesdays at 7 o'clock p.m. We don't hold you long. Just tune in on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. The phone number is 760-548-9105. Invite a friend to listen yeah. with you or to come in and pray with you. Amen. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Amen. 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 Also, it's giving time, Light of Life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <coughs> Amen. On the count of three, one, two, three. As, As we give, give today's, today's tithes and offerings, offerings we are believing the Lord, Lord for jobs or better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, 
settlements, estates and inheritance, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money, bills paid off, debts demolished, royalties received, it's giving time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We truly thank you so much for, for your giving and all donations are greatly appreciated. You may send them to our cash app at dollar sign L O L M church. God bless you. And before I leave, you know what? I haven't hugged you in a long time. Don't know when I'll get to hug you again. And I, and I miss that so much. Amen. Cause we are truly a hugging church. Amen. But at this time, I want to just send you a virtual hug. So take that right hand, put it over your left shoulder, and that left hand, put it over your right shoulder. Ah, that's a hug from us to you. We love you, and we appreciate amen. you. Amen, amen. Well, in this new normal, <laughs> we have to get you to some new, new things. <laughs> Blessed be the Even Lord. Even when we Amen. go back, I don't know if we'll be able to Amen. hug God. Amen. We thank God just as name. God, God will Jesus make a way help us. where there seems to be no way. Saints of God, I want you to remember this. Jesus said, I am, I am the, the light, light of the, the world. world. He, he who follows me shall not walk in darkness, darkness but shall have the, the light of life. God bless you. Do be encouraged. Be safe. Amen. And always remember, we love you. God bless you. Goodbye. To carry on. The light of light is shining on.